1,700 years ago, water was no problem. This land was known as the breadbasket of Rome, rich enough from exports of wheat and oil to boast the most magnificent city of North Africa, Leptis Magna. It still gives off a powerful sense of the brute strength of Rome. These halls were built by Septimius Severus, an African who became Roman Emperor and died attending to business in the north of England. It wasn't just Septimius that ended up in England. In 1827, the ruler of Tripoli sent 35 columns and other assorted features as a present to King George IV. A bit of Leptis Magna can still be found off the A329 near Virginia Water. I'm told the amphitheatre at Leptis Magna has the best acoustics in North Africa. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm uh, leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street until a certain little lady come by. Oh me, oh my, I hope that little lady passes by. She's absolutely wonderful and absolutely marvellous and lots of people ask me just why. I'm standing on the corner of the corner of the street until a certain little lady passes by. Get up! Get off, get off. <laughs>